Google. Turn on air purifier. Sure. Turning the air purifier on. Levoit are among the best all-round air purifiers you can get. And most other Levoit air purifiers are now smart, like this Levoit 300S, which you can connect to Wi-Fi and control from the VSync app and via voice and apps of Google Home, Alexa and Apple HomeKit. Firstly, download the VSync app from the App Store, then plug in the air purifier. Open the app, create an account, then click Add Device. Select Air Quality. Then select the model of air purifier. Click Next. Then when prompted, press and hold the power button for around 5 seconds. It'll only take a few seconds to connect. Then when prompted, select your Wi-Fi and enter the password. Give the air purifier a name. You can then choose one of the third party apps to connect to. Open up Google Home, click the blue plus, select device, select works with Google, search for VSync, click continue, and then sign in. Once you are back to the setup devices page, you are all set up. Click back, find the air purifier. You can then press to turn on or off. If you press and hold, you will see the basic controls. If you go into settings, here you can assign the device to a room. Unfortunately, Google currently only lets you switch the air purifier on or off, unlike Alexa, which gives you full controls, which we'll see when I go through the setup. Unlike the Google Home app, when you use Google Nest Hub, you do have access to all the air purifying settings. You can change the mode settings, fan speed, and turn on or off the display lights. Google, turn on air purifier. Google, turn off air purifier. Turn on air purifier. OK, turning on the air purifier. Unlike the Google Home app, when using Google Nest Hub, you have access to all the air purifying settings. You can change the mode setting, fan speed, and turn on or off the display lights. To set up in Alexa, open the Alexa app, click on Devices, and then click the plus button top right. Add the device, then scroll down to Air Purifier. And choose Levoit. Click next, click next a few times.
click enable to use and after about 15 to 30 seconds you will be connected. Next you will select the room location and that's it, all connected. Using the VSync app via Alexa, you get full controls for settings like mode, fan speed and display, unlike Google Home. Now a walkthrough of the VSync app, where you have more controls and can even set schedules. You can see in the centre the PM 2.5 air quality. Set a schedule. Which you can repeat once weekly to turn on and off. You can do a timer. You can set it to come on for up to 23 and a half or 23 hours and 59 minutes. You can turn off the display. You can device lock. So no child or anybody else can touch the display. Auto mode setting by default. You can select the size of your room. List of some of the voice commands you can do. Hey Google, set the air purifier fan speed to high. Sure. Setting the air. Hey Google, set the air purifier speed to low. Set the air purifier to sleep mode. Okay, setting the air purifier to sleep. Google, set the air purifier to auto mode. Okay, setting the air purifier to auto. You can click in the center of the fan and you can see the history of the PM 2.5 at the top and the fan speed at the bottom. And you can scroll back to yesterday and the day before. And at the top, you can select it by days or by weeks. If you scroll up, you get a brief history of the PM 2.5 and the cumulative hours. And also you can see when the filter needs changing. And that was a quick look at the VSync app for the Levoit air purifier range. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up and hit that subscribe. Any comments or questions, leave them below.